The first testifier is Ezekiel Freedom. The Lord has done a great miracle in his life. Freedom, you can testify now. Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. My name is Bro Freedom Ezekiel from Elebu Group of District, Agberu District. I want to testify the goodness of the Lord in my life. By the grace of God, I'm born again and I've received the grace of God to live the expected life, that is the holy life. Uh, I've been suffering from a deadly sin. I call it a deadly sin because it's very, very deadly. Masturbation, immorality, and pornographic. I've suffered from that since 2017 till 2021 August during Divine Touch program. That was, that was when I was delivered. Uh, when the prayer of the man of God was going on, on the 25th of August, 2021, he said we should place our hands on where we are having issues. So I placed my hand on my chest. On the last amen, I had uh, a big heartbeat. I was like, this is the touch of God. So this masturbation stuff usually happens either in a dream or physically. So in the dream that night, the devil tempted me. He brought some naked pictures, all these videos, and even he sometimes uses members. So I had a dream that uh, I was seeing all these naked pictures and other stuff. And then I overcame it that night. The second day, I overcame it. The third day, I overcame it. And the first day of this crusade, the Lord reconfirmed it. The devil wanted to use his sister again to tempt me, but lo and behold, I am free, and this crusade is mine, and you shall be free also in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ, free, and freed indeed from masturbation, pornography. Now a new creature has emerged. Next testifier, please. Praise the Lord. Uh, the next testifier is Pastor James Oladejo from my greater region. He was confirmed with histological diagnosis of prostate cancer, adenocarcinoma to be precise, and with raised prostatic uh, specific antigen. But the Lord touched him, he has a testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is good to me. Uh, my name is James Oladejo. I am from Egbeda region, Oluwo group of districts. I gave my life to Jesus Christ in March 1979. Ever since then, the Lord has been keeping me in the faith up to today. Uh, my testimony goes like this. It was in 2019, February, that I first of all felt the... Uh, Felt the, uh, the, these symptoms in my body that I was unable to walk a long distance. I went to the hospital UCH and they asked me to go through some tests. Uh, but I am afraid of what might come out of it. I absconded. I continue to use faith that uh, this thing has gone. I absconded. But during COVID-19 uh, problem in 2020, to be precise, around May, I started feeling some weakness in my body. Then it came to a time that I was unable to walk a long distance before feeling weak. In November, I was asked to visit UCH again. On getting there, they asked me to go through some tests. After the result of the test came out in February, they said my PSA has gone to two tests, and it, can, it must not be more than four. Uh, they said trouble has begun. Then they asked me to go for other tests again so that they would know the magnitude. To cut the long story short, I was told that I will have to pass through operation, and I started fearing. Uh, on the, uh, when they when, when they diagnosed what actually is happening, they say it is prost prostate cancer, and that uh, if I don't do the operation within a month, they don't know what may happen. Eventually, I agreed to do the operation. On the day of the operation, they asked my wife to come and sign. 
And she asked the doctor, uh, are you sure this man will not die if you do the operation? They said they cannot see. Then she started crying. I called on God. I said I will not die. I signed something. I went for the operation. The operation was successful. I came back home. After that, I visited the hospital. They said you have to go to do radiation. That is where my fear came. Because I've heard about somebody who did that, and the case became worse. So I said, Lord, I don't want to die now. I still want to serve you. Uh, my people are still waiting for me in my group. So that came, it came during the Divine Connection Crusade in Abuja. Our Father and the Lord was ministering. And I was on the sofa, on the couch in my, in my sitting room. When the man of God was ministering, he mentioned my case that you have a prostate cancer and they have told you this and that. He said that uh, that prostate cancer will dry up now after this prayer. I believed. After the ministration, something touched me and I know that it is the spirit of God. I felt okay and the cancer went away. Uh, the result of the something, I went for the radiation center to go and ask, I went to do the radiation because they say it's going to dry something up. They gave me tests to go and do. So I went for the test. By the time I came back and met my, uh, the professor in, uh, in that st uh, department in UCH, he, he said something has happened. I said, what is that? He said the dry, the something has gone down. It has come to 39.7. I said, that's God at work. He said, I will give you to go and do another test to confirm it. By the time I went there in, in August, lo and behold, the thing has come back to 11.4. And he said that you are not okay. Don't come for anything. Don't go for any radiation again. It has dried up. You can only come for tests in February next year, 2022. Pray the Lord. I am totally free. You also, you will be free tonight. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. We don't have all the time, so we will take just two more testimonies. The rest will be reserved until we start testimonies proper tonight. Yes. Don't run away. You will see testified tonight when we have more time to do so. Two more people will testify now. The rest will be reserved till testimony time proper. Now let's go. Praise the Lord. The next uh, testifier is Joseph Favor. But uh, uh, this brother, Shidrach Unwako, will be testifying on her behalf because she was diagnosed as having a seizure disorder. And whenever she suffered from that disorder, uh, she was unaware of all the activity that took place, except those that were around her. And he will be giving the testimony on her behalf. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, I'm Shedrach Mwanko by name, testifying on behalf of Favor Joseph. Favor Joseph have a surgical operation on her tummy last 2011. Since then, she has been having seizure, and every night she will feel great shock, heavy shock. And when that shock comes, she will be beaten, and after a time, she will sleep off like a dead person, and after a while, she will wake up, and when she wake up, she will, she will say that she don't know anything that happened. And when you are telling her story, she will say she don't know what happened over her. So that thing continues like that until when this global crusade was come on. Then she said that she would want to see her father in the Lord. I told her that at this coming crusade, total freedom from all problems, you are going to be free while you decide to see the daddy uh, Kumuyi. I said, now, all the way from a dose state, I will try to bring you to this crusade ground where daddy Kumuyi is while you decide to see her face, his face. When you say, when you see his face, that your problem will go on. I tell you, my brother and sister, favor Joseph doesn't sleep without drugs. He must take tablet overnight every night, but since last Thursday when we came here, I refused to give her the drugs. Since that Thursday, we are sleeping and waking, sleeping and waking until today. Favor has not had any shock, any seizure anymore. Praise the Lord! Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. The end of seizures. We glorify the name of the Lord. All other testifiers, please. 
We will not be able to take more testimonies except this woman coming. If you can make it just in one minute, the rest of us, please, let's go back. We will come again when we start testimony properly. Thank you very much. The last one in one minute, please. Praise the Lord. This is Mama Amokedane, 75 years old. She suffered from motorbike accident and sustained a knee injury. She wants to testify what God did. Praise the Lord. Eba mi yoluwa logo. Oruko mi ni arabirun amokedane. Ni o gbagi group. Alagba Yundu Street. Mo dupe lowo Olorun fun igba lokan mi. Lati odun die seyin. Lati igba na Olorun de nran mi lowo. Ni 1986 ni mo darapo mo jo deeper life. Fule ni ilu eko. Ni o gba ajaye. La be ise ran se Pastor Femi Oye Wole mo dupe lowo Olorun. Ni 96 bo pada si bado. Ohun ti Olorun se fun mi. Ni ojo kerin le logo osu to lo. Mo ni ijamba lori okada. Olorun ma yo me ba mi Oluwa logo. Lati igba yen mi o le jade. Sugbon ninu ipade osu kejila ni ojo 26. Bi baba wa se gbadura. Ese ti mi le firin tele. Mo firin dele. Lati igba yen mo dupe lowo Olorun. Ohun mi igba to di Tuesday on the level. Mo ni mo gbadọ lo si leaders meeting. Sugbon gba to do so ni wa ala tude mo lo gba bere igba ti mo gba bere abere tun yi si nkan mi sugbon pelu ori ofe olorun mo dele omo to mu mi lo le mo ni ko ma gbadura ko de mu an bi li yi fun mi an bi li yi sise yanu fun mi ki baba mi kumuyi ko to de ilu badon mo gbe an bi li yen sori bayi mo sun le igba to ma to bi wakati merin mo gba okun mo dide igba to di ago mo kan la bo nkan yen gbe mi dide oni ki ma dupe mo dupe lowo olorun titi di ago meji abo e ba mi yan olorun logo we praise god for that testimony the woman had had an accident before that resulted in some uh, discomfort in the body injuries in the body and she could not walk properly but after the prayer of the man of God, she became well, she became healed, and now you can see her walking and she's fine. You will be fine tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say louder, amen. Other testimonies.